So being in that friend zone is beneficial. But if you're in the friend zone, just, I just want her to give me a shot. I want her to give me a shot. Please, please throw it at me. I'm thirsty. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel, Work Plus Gains. I'm here to give you fellows some advice to increase your chances at being more successful with women and being able to find the woman you want starting that relationship. So you need to start friend zoning women. Put that in your mind. Friend zone women. Some male gurus or dating gurus or dating experts might not tell you that you should friend zone women or don't let them friend zone you. I don't really like the way to look at it because some of these guys might be teaching y'all, you know, how to pick up women after they got the bag or after they got clout. The information I'm giving y'all is before I got to YouTube. This is just me practicing this stuff myself. It's actually just the way that I lived. And then my boy started asking me, how do you get this girl attention? How you get this girl attention? Why does she like you? To the point girls thought I was dating all these girls in the city and some of them I was friends with, but they did like me. So let me tell you how to increase your chances, fellas. Friends on women. Start putting in your mind when you meet a girl that you like or even you cool with, you vibe with, friends on her. So if you're a young, successful male and you're trying to grind, I'm not really talking to you. Stay focused. But whenever you're finally trying to decide to be with a woman or you're trying to start to approach women or you want to get out there, if you have no experience, no one taught you the game, gave you advice or taught you anything, you need to get out there. And the easiest way is when you see girls and you're cool with, be cool with being friends with them. Hang out with them because if you're cool with that friend, she might eventually invite you out. Or if you're at school, colleges, you're out somewhere, it's a social gathering, you have an easy way to walk over there to a group of girls to talk to. They might be more attractive than the girls you normally go for. They might be out of your league, but it doesn't matter. You're there to enjoy the moment, but then you got to be aware and got to be able to soak up what they're doing, their habits, what they talk about, what they're interested in. You got to see, okay, what guy walk by, they stare at, and what do they talk about with the guy? Does one girl lead the group? Is there one girl who says something and everybody else echoes? And then when those girls leave the table, is she starting to speak differently? Like, I thought that guy was kind of cute. It just, you know, my girls... Listen, you get to learn different things about different women, different backgrounds, different shapes, sizes. You get to collect all this data. So now when you're on the opposite side, you can see like, okay, sometimes girls, they'll, they'll cock block. They'll get in front of the girls and stop them from enjoying their night with a guy they just met because they are not getting attention. They're not getting hit on. So some of it's that, or maybe they have some past trauma. They're trying to be the mother of the group, or sometimes she just don't want to be left out. But if you start going out with these girls, you will let some girls see the benefits of being friends with you, the benefits of you as a man. So I'm not saying go out of your way, spend all this money. But if you have good qualities as a person that you do, no matter where, where you're at, like basic stuff, open up the door, being polite, kind of, you know, certain moments where you can protect a girl. And it's nothing like your life threatening, but <clears throat> she not paying attention. Oh, watch out. You know. Showing that you're aware of your environment, like, hey, I don't think we should park over here because, look, it's kind of dark. Is this like showing her how a man might think when he's approaching situations, stuff like that, you know, speaks volumes. Because I noticed that girls will, when I ask them, you know, dang, you like me? Why did you like me the whole time? Because I put them in the friend zone. I had no interest in sleeping with this woman. So now that I'm not trying to sleep with this woman, I'm more honest about things. I'm telling her the truth on a lot of different stuff. I'm speaking my mind, but also, you know, I'm listening to her. Because if you're always trying to sleep with the woman, get with her, just to get with her, you might not see who she is. Sometimes it takes time to realize what woman is in front of you. Some women speak a lot of good stuff, a lot of good game, but she'll do the opposite. She'll literally, if you're friends with a girl, you can be friends with a girl and sitting in the car, kicking it, chopping up about life. She'll tell you about all her problems, her friends her mom, dad, whatever. And then she'll go around that same group doing the same things that she says she don't want to do or be a part of expecting different results and they don't change. So you can be that friend, give her some game, give her some wisdom, see how she takes it. And she fights you hard on it. Then you got to start realizing if you were her man, she might come at you with that type of energy. Now, don't get me wrong. If you've all in intimacy, you laying down in the bed, you can, you know, put the put put the hammer down and then now she'll kind of <clears throat> i'm not gonna say that crazy anyway you put the hammer down and then she'll hear you out a little bit differently if you don't put the hammer down she's gonna be more disrespectful before you start it so don't do it if you can't do it i'll give you game on how to increase and improve in the area because i'm very in tune to people relationship man women because i grew up around a lot of women 
<clears throat> wasn't as confident in myself, develop a body, personality. I always had a personality, but I started getting out there, had a job, different stuff. And I got to become one of those popular kids that was in the back, like in the, in the cut that people didn't see in my city. And I got to know a lot of women, got cool, a lot of women, was a part of different circles with males and females. So I got to <clears throat> know a lot of stuff about my city, which I haven't told uh, everybody about. So I won't be telling people names or what information they gave me. But also I went to the military, traveled the world, and I was just one of those guys you know, before YouTube, everything blew up. Social media really blew up. I love talking to people because I was just young and just soaking up information. And I learned a lot about people from Romania, Germany, Afghanistan, Iraq. Um, um, what other country did I see overseas? I can't remember some of them, but I, wherever I would stop at airports, would go out for a little bit. I would talk to people and I got to learn different cultures, different backgrounds. And I've been to so many states here <clears throat> in the United States. And I spend a lot of time asking questions. I'm the guy you talk to. I'll switch the subject, switch the subject, because I want to learn a lot. So I think friends on the women will allow you easier access to a woman's mind. But I don't want you to go in there wrecking stuff. If you're a good person, you can go in there with good intentions, but you're not taken away from her. I'm not telling you to pay everything, do all this stuff. You're friends. So when you're friends, you do what friends do. You're, you're a man, but there's some qualities you can show. Because if you're a real man, you, you still protect. But if she's out there acting crazy, don't put your life on the line and lose your life. But friend zone of women allows you crazy access. I friend zone, where well, girlfriends on me in the military, met her. <clears throat> she friends on me, met her out and about. She was into girls. Met her. She was older. She was like, no, nah, you like a little boy. Can't take you seriously. I just took it. I wanted to learn. First time talking to an older woman. Um, Got cool with her. She gets sick. Make her some medicine. Pull over. Because I live in the barracks. So I liked it because she had a a house I can get away. Boy thought I was simping. Next thing you know, we got real cool. She wanted me. I was like, no, I'm cool with this relationship. We could be friends. Kept it that way. She um had a lot of connections and stuff like that. So she had like an event. She had a party and it was really just all girls. It was all girl pajamas. And it was um 25 women, including her and a roommate. So they had me come over. And I remember my boys dropped me off. And I was like, hey, it's like a little R girls thing. You know, I'm in a friend zone. You know, I'm cool with it. My boy's like, man, I ain't I ain't doing that. We didn't call it simping back then. It was like, you tricking. I'm like, I ain't spending no money. It's her crib. I'm just coming over to be me. And she cooked, she cooked for me, everybody. And I met so many different women. They was on a stink trying to talk to me. It's like, I don't know what y'all got going on, but what's up? All of a sudden, she got triggered. She came over and was like this is my i didn't like what she said this is my boy toy um and if you see this you know <laughs> but anyway she called me her boy toy and a lot of girls backed off but now she wanted me even more and then um her friend still in a sneak was like talking to me because i'm the only man there and they're like want to have a good time turn up be around man talk to me and it was a cool night nothing crazy happened but my boys came back was hot when i when they um they dropped me off because i got too drunk picked me up <clears throat> I told them about the night they wanted to come from now on and it wouldn't be like that all the time so my boys started to come because they wanted that type of access and when they did they started meeting other women going out to other groups of people males and females meeting all these people parties whatever and they got to know more of the city because they're like how do you know so much of the city hey they know all the spots i go here here so being in that friend zone is beneficial but if you're in the friend zone just i just want her to give me a shot i want her to give me a shot please please throw it at me i'm sorry Thursday. I'm waiting. I drink your bath water. I do everything you want. And I don't care about myself. Use and abuse me until you're ready to use me in the way that I deem necessary or whatever. How they be viewing it, I think it's trash, it's weak, and you look like it's just a lost puppy dog. But you can be there. Be cool. Do your thing. Why you cool with her? The girls coming up, talk to you, talk to them. And still have it in your mind. Friend, friend 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 but then when you see the signs they make certain moves if you're ready to make that move make that move get shot down learn pick pick yourself back up keep moving it, it, you can say it's a numbers game but it's really about the experience and learning because not every woman wants you not every man gonna want you for the women so so you're gonna run into people who are not interested in you some who are but they're following the group you need to get out there and see it unless you've been raised and prepared to meet the right one or you just believe with your faith, you'll meet the right woman. If you meet the right woman, good luck to you. Get with her. And hopefully y'all don't know too much about the world and y'all get to learn one another. But if a woman is out here already, your best bet is to get out here too. But you don't got to match her tick for tack. Go to clubs. Go here. Go here. Just get cool with a girl somewhere. One girl. And then you get cool with one girl. You know, get cool with another one. And they got friends. And all you got to do is just... 
hey, I'm interested in going out with y'all one night. And just be prepared other dudes to hit on them. But learn. Learn what the dude said. Learn what he did. What they did. What she said. What turned them off. And you can add like a playbook. I just did it naturally. But then when my boys asked me, I had to start thinking like, what am I doing out here? And it just came to me easy because I was me. <clears throat> and I never planned on sharing this with y'all. But because how the dating market is going and I see some people give good advice because they got rich and they're seeing a part of it. But I think a lot of guys who never had to come up from bottom with just your looks or, or not even with your looks, just who you are. And then you might not have the best clothes because I came in with, you know, I didn't think I had the looks or the body at first. I know I didn't have the body, but when I slowly started, you know, being friends with girls and I added the body, those friendships, they wanted to change. Like, oh, you got a little body on you. Ooh, you look cute. I didn't know you looked that good. Oh, okay, man, your head don't look as big now. Now your chest and your arms, your abs, you know, make your head look normal. You got big hands, you know. The muscles make your hands fit. You just wasn't skinny with big hands and big feet. So it made me look better. Then, you know, working on my clothes, it increased it more. But I had a personality and I knew a lot of the habits. Um, I knew sometimes girls might say one thing with a group, but if you see them alone, they'll say different. Just like your boys, your boys will see a girl and because one of them trashed her real quick, everybody would go with it. me. I'm like, I thought she was bad. Like everyone loved Beyonce, but me, I was always like, eh, Kelly, whoo, whoo. And my boys, you know, they be eh, whatever, but I stand on mine. Sometimes girls, they don't like to be ridiculed. They don't like to be shamed. They just don't really want to stand out from the crowd. Not all, but some do. So I just want y'all to know, friend zone women, so women don't get mad at me. Some of y'all should enjoy having a guy around. And he's not always trying to, hey, you want to do this? Come on, come on. You know, always waiting to jump. There's girls who threw it at me. And I, I'm good, shut it. We friends. Let's kick it. Let's vibe. They get mad. They get salty. They might not want to kick it with me. Deuces. Then the homegirl like, hey, you cool. Let's go out. Like, go ahead and try. You can try. You can push up. You friend. You're friend zoned. Ah, uh, you friends on you cool. And don't get me wrong, you cute. I looked at your booty one night. Ooh, yeah. But I'm I'm good. Like I'm good. And they wanted me more. I met more girls. Then they girls be like, like you gay? Like, no, I'm not gay. Like you tripping. It's just because I got standards. And then now they want to know what I'm into, what I'm looking for. Then I'll say it, say some basic stuff. Oh, I do that, I do that. But I'm, I'm looking for something more. What's that? What you do? They can't say it, then I know they don't know it yet. And I really ain't told no woman yet, be honest, be honest with you. But, you know, that's what I think is like missing from the dating market now. And just putting yourself out there, you know, being willing to be friends with a woman. There's nothing wrong with being friends. I know they say don't be friends, you a simp, you a sucker. Them dudes be rich and they just got events and are dress up. They're actually simping more because they're paying for a lot of stuff going to places. Just building up who you are as a personality or a personality person isn't simping. You like you should want to know how women think, not from what they tell you when you're asking them questions. No, when when they're, when you're kicking it with them, they chilling, dancing, looking for a dude, getting a little tipsy, you know, just having a blast. You get to learn more. But when you ask sometimes women a direct question, they're about to be thinking so much to give you what you want to hear or what paints them in the best light. Most people don't want to show their ugly foot. Like, you got a bunion foot? Let me see that bunion. They want you to marry them, do all this stuff, then see it. So I think you should put yourself out there, be friends, and stop looking at it from a negative mindset. I promise y'all. I promise y'all. You can't just be friends with a girl who never have friends. Like, if you get one girl who don't have friends, cool, be friends with her. Then maybe y'all can go out. Y'all make it to where you go to a place where it's like a social event. Your city's throwing a parade. Your city's celebrating something. They're, every city celebrates something of their birthday, of an actor, something that goes on in your city where they have a parade. They shut down a block. You have to go down to the city, like hall, or go to certain places and get like, um, I don't know what you call them, but they'll have, just say itinerary or whatever you want to call it. Something was like, what's going on? Calendar schedule, what events they might have during that year. Put yourself out there. Go to go football events. Tailgate. Tailgate. There's so many different things. I'll break this stuff down for y'all more. I'll give you things you can maybe start saying to girls when you walk up to them because people don't code approach anymore. Um, some people say it don't work. Um, your personality doesn't matter. Your personality, personality, personality does matter. I was, a, I was a man 
who knew so many people. I would go out and I would know so many people, people in like high places, low places, male or female. And I would be with my boys. I'm like, dang, you just think you know everybody. they are like, you know what? I bet you Gaines know him. Walk up. Hey, what up, Gaines? How you know him? How you know her? And they'd be, wow, I moved to the new city. I guarantee you, by the end of the month, I already know some hot spots to go to kick it, you know, people, restaurants. And that's not from no internet search. That's literally word of mouth. Because I love word of mouth. Because when someone's verify something, vouch for something, I'll take your word for it. And if you give me bad advice or say this restaurant was good and it was terrible, I don't listen to anything you say. I'll give you a few more chances, but then I'll be like, okay, they talk outside of their neck. But if someone give you good advice, then you know, okay, I can go back to them. So I just want males to realize you can be friends with women, but just don't let them abuse you, disrespect you in a crazy way, take advantage of you financially, and feel like you have to always go when she calls. Be be a friend. True, y'all hang out, you kick it when the when is when is when you're able to. When you have the availability, when it's not interfering with your goals and aspirations, but you gotta get out here and see them in their natural habitat. Not when they're looking at you as a date to impress you or not when you're asking them a direct question. But then it allows them to see who you are. You could be a friend, get feedback. Why do you think girls ain't approaching, approaching me? Then ask some stuff, use it, bro. Stop listening to these people say, don't be friends with girls. Be, you could be friends with them. If they friends on you, use it to your advantage. Be friends. She ain't coming at you. You ain't coming at her. But then sometimes friend zone girls first, like, Chop, don't say your friend. Your, don't be like friend zone. Just kick it with, but hey man, you real cool, man. Man, me and you, we real good friends. Like say at some type of line to stress the fact that you enjoy being friends with them and you love this friendship, and mean it and rock with it, and just cross her off the list. Promise you, you'll see your life will change in a tremendous way. But if you keep thinking I'm trying to poke this, poke that, poke this, 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 that, bro, you're gonna be chasing women not chasing the bag, not working on yourself, truly not understanding women, and listen to the wrong gurus. I promise y'all, if you add this adjustment to your life, give it some time, you will see a significant difference in the way you learn women, how you view them, how you see them, and what you can start applying to your own life, and then how much easier it is just to be able to have access to women in a sense of just a friendship or some type of form of relationship that can turn into a relationship off of just that friendship or just having that connection with that woman. Stop putting yourself in situations where y'all want a woman and y'all ain't talking to them or around them in no form or facet. I'm not saying go to clubs, spend all your money, spend all this stuff. No, you can just go to social gatherings, come as you are, slowly add on, see the change, see if you're dusty at first and you start putting some gear together. Do people treat you differently? See if your personality has increased from the information you got from those women and does it help you, you know, be able to code approach women, make them laugh more, make them smile more. But if you think you're just him the day you show up, a woman's not going to know you him unless you six foot something, got an aura about yourself. Even if you're short, the way you carry yourself, your body. I mean, some girls can pick on, pick up certain energy when it comes to the bedroom too. Some, a lot of times they off because I'd be like, bro, what? I'd like, be hearing some stories from them like, why'd you do that with him? Because I thought this, thought that. I'd be like, yeah, whatever. But at the end of the day, if you get better, you can see all the signs and you can make a better educated guess on the woman you want to spend the rest of your life with. Stop thinking you him. Some of us have to work to become him. I ain't seen any hero, hero backstory that started back in the day. Not this new stuff, but the traditional superhero. Most of them had a background story on how he became him. So start yours. All right, y'all. Work again. I'm out. Let's get it. Bye.